let you sinners swing. I'll explain that reference at the end of the video. Uh, so the CC65, um, the low amp clamp that Handtech produces, um, can you do a relative compression test with just a low amp clamp? Yeah, I think you can. Uh, let's find out. Um, on the uh, the higher of the two scales there, boys, you can see I have it relabeled because that labeling makes more sense to me. I'm on the 10 millivolts uh, per amp setting. Uh, prerequisites, I just have the uh, fuel pump relay actually removed so uh, to disable the, uh, uh, the fuel system so we don't get the car actually starting. We just want to see it cranking. Uh, again, just a DIY channel, boys, right? Not a professional mechanic. What is a relative compression test? with respect to doing it with a low amp clamp. Well, as you can appreciate, as the starter rotates the engine uh, on the start cycle, uh, as the four, four pistons in this case come up uh, on their compression stroke, uh, it puts a higher demand on the starter. The higher demand on the starter can be monitored via the current that it's actually drawing. Make sense? So as opposed to a traditional um, compression test where you would remove a plug and actually see the actual pressure, pneumatic pressure that the, the relative, the respective cylinder is generating, you can do so much simpler with just a current clamp. Perhaps not as accurate, but certainly much quicker. And if you're just trying to rule out any, uh, any um, mechanical issues with a car that you're troubleshooting for whatever reason, then this is, this makes a lot of sense. It's quick and easy setup. So you'll see on my battery here, boys, there's uh, actually two ground cables. Because of the split cable arrangement here, boys, it's super important to realize that we're only gonna see approximately half the starter current, but the test retains its functionality. If you have a split like this, it will accommodate a smaller hole um, because that hole on the CC65 is only what? Half inch maybe? Uh, just a single channel. I do not have a sync pulse set up here, boys. We're keeping it simple. Uh, so we won't be able to correlate the uh, compression humps with the respective cylinder, uh, which you can do if you add a sync pulse, but perhaps that's a video for another day. Uh, just a single channel. I'm on a 2-volt scale. Uh, 200 millisecond uh, sweep is actually set up. Well, let me zoom out completely here, boys, so you can get the big picture. So there's the trace that we actually captured. So again, the inrush current, you can see uh, the uh, the spike there, and then as the, the engine starts to rotate, as I said, the current comes down a wee bit, and you can see here is the relative uh, compression humps. Um, again, as the uh, starter is greater loaded, as the uh, piston, I guess, approaches top dead center, um, obviously as the compression gets higher and higher, the lower the load gets, higher and higher on the starter and that's what we're actually looking at here so the main thing is are all these humps relatively even i'm happy to say they are um these couple little dropouts here i think are just splurious indication let's I, I should actually zoom out one more time if we can uh it's kind of cutting us between screens but we can see the humps a wee bit better here so you can see the humps relative compression humps and obviously they are stopped cranking the engine for the guys that are just DIYers like myself and are, are relatively new new to this concept uh, let alone actually doing it um, I, I thought it was worthwhile making a video uh, of course this is on the modus you don't need anything fancy boys this would work on right down to the cheapest of scopes um, perhaps I should have done it on my, my, my 1080 C uh, that may have made, made the point even clearer that you don't need anything too, too fancy. Yeah, so the reference at the beginning of the video is, uh, some of you may or may not have picked up on it, uh, Edward Van Halen sadly passed away in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, my heroes from uh, younger years, are, are they're dropping like flies. Uh, life well lived, I'd say. Very few people leave an impact like he does in this, this world, that's for sure. Right, that's it, boys. I hope I made some sense. Cheers.